Uh, I'm David Geiger, and I work in ST here at NGA. And just real quick, um, I wanted to go over some differences between, well, what a Chromebook is versus a pad versus a laptop when trying to get access to the SBU or Outlook Web Access or OWA that uh, recently released just this week. So like the previous video that I provided, uh, that was just access to the SBU. I'm gonna add in uh, the actual Outlook Web Access as well to a Chromebook. Now, first off, I'm just a user. I'm not part of T. This is not an official uh, instructional guide. It's just kind of help give you some information and background uh, before you start to try and connect your Chromebook. Uh, I didn't own a Chromebook, but I was helping other people uh, connect remotely and they have Chromebooks and they started having issues. And so when I walk them through like some of the solutions that I have found for other laptops or, or an iPad, um, I've quickly realized that it has its own operating system. And it has its own uh, separate Chrome browser. Uh, and how it operates differs between each manufacturer. Uh, I think Google did that to make it easier for developers, um, kind of like cracking the code form and opening up the, the aperture for them to be able to uh, create and develop uh, meaningful applications. But what it really comes down to is that, like, I, have a, I bought this, I went out and bought a Chromebook, I bought this Samsung. And it's quickly becoming known as one of the biggest problem children when it comes to using Citrix. Uh, some of my other users who are using um, an Acer uh, manufacturer uh, Chromebook aren't having the same issues that I'm experiencing with my Chromebook. So basically, just real quick, uh, to access the uh, use a cat card on an iPad, I have a Thursby uh, external connector. Uh, this is actually a separate device, it's about 200 bucks, that you have to buy separately. I had to, I had to buy an extension because of the new connector, the USB-C type connector on the iPad and no longer just the lighting. Uh, and then also this connector also works on my phone. And why do I have all this? Well, because I do a lot of outreach with uh, sec uh, private sector mobile app developers, um, I like to know exactly what kind of technology is being used, hence why I went and bought this. Uh, because when the stay-at-home order was kind of a rumor, yeah, I thought to myself, because I do a lot of teleworking and I was in the have based upon the job that I'm in, but I was like, I know a lot of people at NG that don't, they, they, were, they haven't gone through the headache that I went through, which was trying to attempt to remote log in uh, using my um, Microsoft laptop. I have a Surface Book too. Um, so I created a teleworking guide that has all the quick links to it um, and I, I'll probably put it in the bottom of the video, but if not, it's uh, bit.ly forward slash two capital Z in Zulu, uh, lowercase H is in hotel, lowercase L is in Lima, capital F as in Foxtrot, lowercase S is in Sierra, and capital K is in Kilo. And there's the short URL that'll take you directly to that uh, tunnel working guide uh, that probably will help you, you know, walk you through some of the solutions both for your desktop, but also for a Chromebook. Um, so I'm going to have the camera turn real quick and we'll start walking through the process of getting into the Chromebook. The instructions I have available uh, as well. Um, it's in that tall working guide, but big shout out to DK Stewart because working with him and compiling all the instructional information uh, into one document is what we created uh, and, and made available. So hopefully this helps. And in the end, if this does not help you and this does not fix your Chromebook issues accessing to NGA's SPU or also to uh, the Outlook Web Access, um, if you download the app Rocket Chat, you put in the server rocketchat.gs.mil. There's a room inside there called SPU underscore OWA. Uh, probably best if you do that from a uh, different desktop computer if you have one, or even from your phone. Because inside of that uh, little chat room is what T has set up uh, for you to be able to submit some of these queries and questions. Um, we don't know what to fix, we don't know what's broken, so make sure you uh, have really available the make, model, manufacturer, uh, and your um, OS version of Chrome. For those that didn't know, and I didn't know, the reason why Chromebooks have become so popular is, A, it looks like a laptop. It's not a laptop. Think of it more as like a, 
Android phone that doesn't have the ability to actually like call anybody. Kind of like my iPad here. This is not a Mac. This is not a Mac. There's no hard drive on either one of these. It has its own steady uh, solid state drive. Uh, so think of it like as a flash drive, what you use for a USB stick for. Um, but it does have the capability of connecting using the CAC reader. It's also been really good for kids uh, who are doing teleworking or teleschooling, not working, for doing teleschooling. Uh, and the price point, I'll get this for 500 bucks. So once we actually can get over the hurdles of actually accessing um, remotely to the SBU or to Outlook Web Access, this would be a viable tool for remote access. It's just getting over that hurdle first. Just like this is a good tool. Just like my phone is a good tool, but I had to get a Thursby, totally separate CAC reader for it to work. Now, a laptop. That was easy. No problems there whatsoever. So let's get started. And again, I hope this helps. And if it didn't, go to rocketchat.gs.mil uh, or just download and install the app Rocketchat. And remember the user group name is SBU underscore OWA once you're in there. Remember the server setting is rocketchat.gs.mil. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you want to make sure you have a CAC reader. This one is a USB-C type. There are many different CAC readers uh, in the teleworking guide that I created. If you want to look at that, there's actually the drivers uh, for all of them. You don't need to download a driver for a Chromebook because that's one of the other selling features of the Chromebook because it has everything in it. There is not, like I said, because it's a zone operating system and it's using only Chrome, there isn't the option to use a different browser. So all you have is Chrome. So I've already logged in, as you can see, um, using my uh, Gmail account. You have, to, you, have to, you have to have a Gmail account set up before starting uh, a Chromebook. For those that have been using their Chromebooks, they already know that. For those that are new, this is something you have to look out for. One thing that really helped was that I created a separate Gmail account just for this Chromebook, and it resolved a lot of issues. Now, that tip came from DK Stewart. Um, so this is our homepage. So there's two sites that primarily you're going to use during this. And one of them, uh, and again, this is all in the guide that I created. So military CAC has been pretty much the go-to for any type of CAC issues. Um, and so you can see here that you're using the Chrome operating system. Uh, this is just the instructions they have laid out for um, the Chromebook. And then here is the support from Google, support.google.com forward slash Chrome. You can put in a wide variety of inquiries and issues that you're having, you can even submit a trouble ticket to them and let them know what you're experiencing. Um, so there are three things that you're going to need. Pretty easy. You're going to need a smart card connector wrap, which is on the Chrome web store. Um, you're also going to need an install card middleware app and install all necessary root and intermediate certificates. So the root and intermediate certificates are going to be available on the military CAC website, and they're listed here. And I literally installed these starting at five, starting at two, three, four, then five, and then all. That's the order of install that worked for me. If you did it a different way, let me know. We can update this video. Uh, but so far, just emailing these, I mean, sorry, installing these at the exact same order has worked the best. Once you've installed the certificates, and this, again, this is after you've installed the other three apps that were mentioned up here earlier on the Chrome. So you go to the Google Play Store. All right. 
So the first thing we're going to search for is the Citrix Workspace app, which you saw here. I've already installed it. There's not an update. Also, if you didn't know, the Chromebook update, the operating system will update by itself at night. So sometimes if you get on a Chromebook and it's acting a little bit funny, um, you can revert back to the previous operating system version. That's usually what happens is that a new Chrome is available. So the second app you're going to install is the smart card connector. I usually just put in smart card to see what I get. And none of these are what I want. Subrosa, that's the Thursby software, the puck that I showed you. So let's go smart card connector app. And it's also nice as this is a touch screen. And the one that we actually want looks like that. And you can see that it's already connected and it sees my card reader right here. You can add a separate reader, but it does this all on its own. It's always running in the background, which is nice. And the last is the CSSI middleware. So on a normal desktop, we have the active client uh, for most people. Um, again, there's no, there's no hard drive. This isn't really a computer, uh, even though it's still, it calls itself a computer. Like when you go to reboot it, it says reboot computer. I don't know, maybe they should change it to reboot Chromebook and just leave it at that. Again, I'm not... The authority at MGA when it comes to uh, IT issues. I'm just a fellow user like you who had issues with a Chromebook. Also, there's no caps lock. You just have to remember that. On the keyboards for a Chromebook, there's no caps lock. There's a search button. And I hit that all the time. All the time. There we go. CSSI, smart card middleware.